Hi, I'm Helen Masters, the winemaker at Atarangi Vineyard in Martinborough, New Zealand. So we're a small family-owned winery in the southern tip of the North Island, so a very small winemaking village called Martinborough. And it's great that I'm able to be here today and show you two of our wines. So both Pinot Noir, that's what we mostly produce in our region. And we've got here um, our Crimson 2010 Pinot Noir and our main flagship Pinot Noir, our 2008. The two different wines, um, all from the Martinborough region. The Crimson is from particular plots of soil that have um, so are slightly more expressive, um, more fruit driven, from slightly younger vines. So these vines here are from anywhere from t um, 10 to 20 years of age. And the Archerania, our main label, these are from our really gravelly soils right on the Martinborough Terrace. And these vines tend to be from 20 to say 32 years of age. So two wines that express Martinborough are I guess, quite slightly differently. The crimson tends to be more um, aromatic and effusive, have a um, sweeter and but with still the same length and texture that we get from our region. I guess what we're always looking for at our wines at Artarangi it's quite a very fine seam of tannin. Um, the wines aren't all about fruit, they often have quite a twist to savoury characters and you'll really see that in the main Artarangi uh, Pinot Noir. That wine tends to have um, quite deep brooding characters quite a dense, very fine tannins and a really lovely scene of acidity. So I guess that would sort of describe our, our region. Um, the wines seem to be more textural. So the Crimson, I guess you can see it's got quite a different label. And this is um, um, a, a rata flower, which is a native tree of New Zealand. And this is all about a bit of the conservation work we do. Um, so really just differentiates the two wines as well. So quite exciting to be here in Vancouver trying these wines for a change. But the Crimson is a lot more effusive, a lot more of the um, um, classic, I guess, Pinot Noir characters of cherry and a little bit of spice, but there's also a sort of a, a brooding, sort of savoury character there as well. And the 2008 Archerangi, um, this has obviously got a little bit more age on it, it's much deeper and denser. Um, a lovely sort of fruit, but with an overlaying sort of savoury just see that it's starting to change those aromatics from more fruit driven to slightly more complex savoury characters.